When you were ascending, going up the mountain, and you were not paying any heed to anybody. And in your rear, the messenger was calling you. What happened? You know, there was panic. And in that panic, most of the Muslims ran towards the Uhud mountain so that they can save themselves by going up the mountain. Now they are running towards the mountain, climbing the mountain, the Prophet is, 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 is in the rear, he's calling them. Where are you going? Come towards me. O bondsmen of Allah, O servants of Allah, come towards me. But in such an emergency, you know, nobody has any idea of, of the other. Everybody thinks about himself, his safety. Is to say, Nuna, you were climbing the mountain, and you were not turning back to take care of anybody else. But Rasul Yadukum fi Ukhrakum. And the Prophet وسلم, was calling you from your rear. Now there was grief after grief for you. The grief of the defeat, the grief of the wounding of the Prophet, وسلم, the grief of the rumor that the Prophet had been killed. So grief over grief, grief after grief. So that you become seasoned and in the future you don't grieve at whatever befalls you. And whatever is is you do whatever you miss and whatever befalls you. Wallahu Khabiru And whatever you are doing, Allah is aware of it. And then afterwards, after this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down on you a slumber, a security and peace and tranquility. It so happened that in the war, it was very unusual. But some of the sahabas say, we, we felt like sleeping. You know, sleep comes only when there is contentment in the heart. When there is conflicts within you, you can't sleep. So actually, this was a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is mentioning it as such. A party among you was feeling sleepy. There was other group also who were very thoughtful about themselves. What will happen to us? Who were, who, who were trying to save their, their souls? And they were thinking about Allah, the, the thoughts of Jahiliya, which were not based on, on reality. What has happened? Were we wrong? Is Muhammad not the, not the messenger of Allah? What has happened? If he was really messenger of Allah, how could this happen to him? How could this happen to us? So you know, Shaitan, Allah the U.S. was of his sudur in us. He puts so many ideas and these things come to without the intention of a person. These ideas cross your minds without your intending it. You have no control over this. So, they were unjustly thinking about the thought of ignorance. Now, this is the saying of some of the Munafiqeen. They said, if there, is there anything for us regarding the authority? Do we have some part in authority? What did they mean? Abdullah ibn Ubay said that we should defend the city from within the walls of the city. We are not in a position to go and confront the enemy in the open field. Now they thought that had this opinion been accepted, then we would not have suffered this, this disaster. Now we should have authority, our opinion should be respected. Decisions should be made according to the opinion of the people. Because the decision was made exclusively by Muhammad He saw that some of the Mu'mineen, some of the people, especially the youth among them. And as I told you, especially, especially those who couldn't go to Badr. Now they wanted to have a chance to fight for the cause of Allah. So Allah, so the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he kept their, their sentiments. He, he kept 
before him the sentiments of such nobody the sadiqin and he decided in the favor that we will go out and have the confrontation in the open field but then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given them the victory this was not due to a mistake in in this decision this was due to the mistake of those 35 sahaba who who disobeyed the command of their commander so actually but now it, there was an occasion for the munafiti to say do we have any part in authority in the decision of the matters? Qul in the lamra kullahu billah. Tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, authority is totally with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody has any authority. So what does it mean? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala owns the authority. And now his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is his representative. He had the exclusive authority to decide. And you, if you have real belief, if you really believe in, in him, you must accept him and accept his command and you must obey him with the from the depths of your hearts you fool of and for the mala of the luck or muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they are hiding in their hearts what they are not disclosing to you they are saying something else they mean something else what they mean yaqulun actually what they are saying that is ka khallana law kana lana min al amr shayun ma qatilna ha huna if we had some say in the affairs, if our opinions were respected, if the decision was made according to our advice, we would not have been killed here. Tell them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even if you were in your homes and houses, on whom Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has written already that he will be killed. He would have anyhow come to this place where he was to be killed. Wherever they have been killed to date and uh, at the which place, they would have come here anyhow, even they were in their houses and homes, because the, the decision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that cannot be obstructed by anybody, by any policy, by any decision, by any means, by any methods. Yeah, that has to be carried out. The brother of Nadina Kotebale will cut to La Babadi Rahim. Well, they have to be a law who are to do the Kum. And all this happened only. Allah wants to test what is in your hearts, what is in your chest. Well, you must be some of you to do the Kum. And He wants to touch whatever is in your hearts. Because if with Iman there is some pollution of Difaq also, it must be cleansed, it must be cleared. If Iman. And there is some weakness also. These weaknesses should be cleansed and cleared. So the purging of your heart was the main uh, issue. And Allah knows what is there in the chests of the people, in the hearts of the people. Verily those who left the field and who showed their backs to the fighting, on that day in which two armies confronted each other, in the Mastazallahum Shaitan, actually it was Shaitan who made them slip, but he could make them slip due to some of their actions. They had done some sins, some they had committed some mistakes, they had committed some weaknesses, and due to those weaknesses, Shaitan could hold them, and Shaitan could ha ha have some effect on them and could have some influence on them. Using that influence, he made them slip. But about such people also, Allah declares here, Allah has already pardoned them. Allah has accepted their toba. They will not be questioned about it now. This the case is closed. This case of Ghazmatul Ohod, that is closed. Whosoever committed some weakness, committed some mistake, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned it only so that you can rectify them. You can purify your ranks. You can rectify your weaknesses and mistakes. But you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not punish them for these weak weaknesses and mistakes. Allah has pardoned them. Please note here that among those people who left the battlefield was also Hazrat Osman Nabi Allah ta'ala and people who are enemies of Sahaba. 
who don't who don't like sahaba anyhow they use this thing as a propaganda against hazrat usman up till now radhi allah taala an but we know the reply given by one of the sahaba in those days when some of the people who who rose in revolt against hazrat usman during the caliphate of hazrat usman radhi allah taala an ho when they enumerated this charge also against him that he had fled the field on the day of uhud so he is not trustworthy and he is not actually he is he is not uh, mustahid and he is not capable of having this high office of khilafa the, the answer given was allah had pardoned him allah had given declared the pardon to all those people he was not alone there were many because they must panic this this this, this situation was so uh, extraordinary but happened was so instantaneous that you know you, so to say what we call involuntarily some of the people left the field they were quick chaos so hazrat usman radhi allah taala anhu was also one of them but here allah declares walaqad afallahu anhum allah has already pardoned them and forgiven them in the allah ghafurur halim verily and definitely and surely allah is ghafur is merciful and he is forbearing بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات وذكر الحكيم